Sea lamprey originally came from the oceans, and they are known to act as a parasite towards fish once fully grown. Like most invasive species that find their way into the Great Lakes, they tend to do more bad than good for the ecosystem. This created an issue for the commercial fishing due to the sea lamprey killing off large amounts of fish, which then forced the creation of a new commission. Uh, sea lamprey have been around uh, in the Great Lakes since the early 1900s. The Great Lakes Fisheries Commission was formed in 1950s, and since that time we've been treating sea lamprey. Treating the lamprey during its younger stages is the most effective way in keeping the invasive species in check. This is due to them not going into deeper waters while growing. This gives biologists and the Fish and Wildlife Services a better chance to remove the invasive lamprey from undergoing its next step in growing. So lamprey, the first three to four years of their life cycle, they are filter feeders. They're burrowed in the sediment of the streams, and they're just passive, they're, they're filter feeding. Once they start to become around 100 millimeters in length, they start to go through a transformation phase. This transformative phase within lamprey consists of the growing of a mouth, which has a jaw filled with teeth. They then use these new tools to go hunting for fish out in the Great Lakes. They swim out to the Great Lakes then, they attach to any fish, they're non-discriminatory, and over the course of uh, approximately 18 months, they will kill uh, 40 pounds of fish. The amount of dead fish could increase if the invasive species is not kept in check and removed when possible. This also could not only cause the commercial fishing to suffer, but also have a large effect on the ecosystem as a whole. For more information about sea lamprey, you can go to our website at abc10up.com. Reporting in Marquette County, I'm Dan Callahan for ABC10 and the CW5.